outer orange. These are the final results of BCS 2022. Let's get started. So as you guys know, we have Fuzzy Paradox here, the usual, the homie, the Chad of the hour, making all of these. It is just amazing to see. It's great to have. Makes the competitive season just feel way more competitive. Makes people want to top more. Love these charts. There's actually more coming. Uh, he's already he already announced it, and I'll be making a whole video on it, but he actually has a website too now, so don't forget to check out the website. I think it's called vgparadox.com, so check that out too, but we'll make a, we'll make a whole discussion about it. We'll, we'll, we'll get there but today we're gonna talk about results don't forget to get some playmats playmats uh zero damage gaming.com get some playmats get some cards that stuff it just dropped what are you doing it's almost christmas time i have a hat on come on man celebrate the christmas season with me and get yourself some cards use code orange for both of these things we have standard v premium and premium all results top eight top four and first place let's go ahead and kind of get started we have standard first we have a wonder wonderful whopping results this is literally everything there's one up here that you're not seeing it's one mob this is literally all the results of all the top eight seasons and as you guys can tell here in the video was actually first in all the results second was flag breaker third is prison when and then after that is pretty much everything else these are our top three we also have you know mahar ava Kyrie. you know there's keep in mind that the season did trade did change as we went on we went from like i believe set five meta into like Actually, I guess it didn't change that much, but we went from like set five meta into set six meta, and then in between we got some promos, right? And then we also got the Shaman King deck that dropped. So there actually was a couple of seasons where Shaman, I think it was like one or two max that didn't have, um, one one or two BCSs, maybe even three that didn't have Shaman King at all. And then as uh, and then we also got Lyrical set three that dropped too. So keep in mind there was some variations and the promos dropped as well. So we had some some updates and some changes throughout the season. At, so a lot of some of the BCSs were different, some stayed the same. Um, so just just something to keep in mind that the results did kind of change and shift and i think actually people started kind of playing your video less as i feel like the season went on because there's just more options more things to play and more stuff to top with right but overall your video is still an insanely good deck or flag were coming in second by the way i actually did not know this when i like was kind of looking at results and it really processed that flag was actually topping this much i didn't really realize this so flag was kind of the consistent one the whole time this is by the way with and without the promo the deck was boo 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 bring results i'm one of the people uh I, with the before the promo well, actually the promo already dropped i just I, I just didn't know if i could take it to the event i went to but this is with and without the promo that this deck is doing well i actually think the deck performs pretty honestly kind of better without the promo because it's you know a little a little less uh, a little less weak to resources but it's me but anyway so regardless so that so fagberg is honestly a really good deck it was magnolia kind of being like kind of kind of distance right now i don't know if we're getting that ban list or not we don't really know what's going on with that so with that being said we don't know what's happening so because of that uh but Flagberg will still stay as to be one of the best Strikea decks right now. And I think even going into set 7, this will continue to be true. Even if with the Magnolia getting unrestricted, I still can see this deck doing really well. Gravidia, I think, will fall off a little bit. Not because the deck is bad, but because people are going to start playing other stuff. It has nothing to do with the deck being bad. The deck will still be good. The deck will probably still be topping, but there will be more decks to take. And one of them is going to be, obviously, Youthberg, and the Jet's going to drop. And there's just going to be all these options that Gravidia is going to be a little bit more fair. And because of that, people are going to take the more unfair stuff. Even though Gravidia has the deck still has like her random auto win all that stuff so just something to keep in mind this for the future and then we got prison prison is still performing surprisingly enough and we have mahara and then ava now ava is a really interesting one if you guys know ava only recently started getting results i do if i don't recall i think there was like an ava that might have slipped through like kind of early on i don't remember exactly but i think it did happen but obviously the promo really makes the deck just so much better we all knew this going in like the minute that promo got released i think we were all aware what, what was going to happen because of how good that promo was it was a great one it's just really solid you know the deck only having access to like one good order which is kind of bad but getting that second order just really changed the the play style of the deck the deck just got more aggressive the deck turned on the turn sooner so obviously we're seeing a lot of results here and all these are actually very recent results next is Kyrie. i've been kind of like beating beating the horse with Kyrie. i feel like this deck right here is just the more superior one in comparison to Kyrie. I, that's just my personal opinion uh so with that being said i think i think Kyrie is gonna is gonna kind of start phasing out a little bit it's a good deck but still a turn four deck some of these other decks can actually beat it before it can really do too much it includes ava um and a couple other decks that are on the list here so very interesting to see and then uh, as we go further down we're starting to get a lot of one ofs you notice that green on actually isn't doing too bad and neither is zorga just don't want to kind of point out some of these other decks like we we kind of know about them but seeing these two decks on the on the first you know like on the one third side of the chart is actually very interesting um so yeah <laughs> and then we're probably gonna by the way we're gonna see some shift happening here probably in the future sorry i'm not kind of i'm talking about the current results but i'm also talking about what the future is gonna hold because we're about 
about to have a, you know, Spring Fest is going to start. Worlds is about to happen. So with Worlds happening, this this chart is not going to be like this anymore. We're going to see kind of a different chart. And that's why I'm kind of, you know, talking about it because this is going to change. This, Worlds is not going to be this. It's going to be different. So we'll see. We'll see what's, what's going to happen. But let's go on into top four. This is what top four looks like. It's kind of very similar. It's still the same top five, right? And Mahar moved a little bit further down. But Ava and Kyrie swapped here, obviously, again, because there was more people playing Kyrie than there are people playing Ava because obviously Ky Kyrie has been around the whole time and uh, Ava only really starts showing up in the last couple, like couples BCSs, right? So but overall, kind of same stuff here. I think these two swaps are just fair. I, I also I overall think uh, Prison into Flagberg is pretty rough unless you know the matchup like Pinpoint. If you don't know the matchup Pinpoint, this is actually a very rough matchup for a Flagberg player, but, they, but if they know it really well, they can get out of it. But sometimes, you know, sometimes things just go wrong because resources are resources. And then obviously Gravidius being like one of the most played decks is obviously, you know, top tier. And then last but not least, this is the final results. Now the final results really did shift. There's actually quite a big shift that happened. You'll notice uh, since since the season did change as the as we start going deeper and deeper, we're actually starting to see a shift in the meta itself. So first place is Ava, which is again what we, we, we just talked about. Ava getting the promo, making it a lot stronger. So she is just, you know, outperforming right here. Like we're going crazy. Prison still being Prison. Prison had a lot of top. And then we had Kyrie. We had a couple results of Kyrie as, as you know, uh, especially I think Derek Dow was like really pushing Kyrie and all this kind of stuff. I think he took her and like uh, Shaman King, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't remember where he placed exactly. I just know he like got top eight, top four, etc. Um, and then and after that we have Gravidia, and then after that we have Greedon and Leticia. And I noticed Leticia is starting to slowly ramp up towards that first place spot, right? So Leticia being one of the newer decks in set three dropped pretty recently. It's very interesting to see. Leticia is actually pretty strong. She's like she has like this kind of like Hyro engine behind her, but the deck itself is good. I'm not a crazy fan of her not not like the not like not like the playstyle that, that competitively wise i'm not a fan of her but she is good the deck is good the deck is strong i have the deck i've been playing with the deck uh i'm just not like as into her playstyle because i don't like the hold no early hand thing but the deck is good the deck can stack the deck gets red girl it kind of just goes off it just does a lot of really simple stuff it's a bunch of overlord deck it restands on top of having all the random generic bermuda cards like it's just and it, it turns on it turns on live instantly if you have all your pieces type of thing the only thing is your shield value like early on is like non-existent or something to be careful of people have been more into greed on greed on also got a promo i think i forgot to like talk about this but we got a lot greed on got a lot of good stuff recently i'm not a greedon player but greedon did get a lot of good cards recently that makes the deck overall better and makes the deck actually playable uh we saw bro results a while back but i don't really know exactly what happened there because it was, it was pre-updated greedon type of stuff going on um but regardless so we did see results of, of greedon getting first in the past and then here we are again greedon's coming back greedon kind of counters a lot of decks actually just by not having a board it makes a lot of decks like not exist kind of like gravidia and a little bit of ava in prison it just makes those kind of decks kind of not do as much another weird stupid example is actually eugene eugene literally falls sideways into into green on just because it literally just can't exist because it can't retire anything uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind but yeah green is a really interesting deck it's very weird it's kind of just another restating vanguard deck but it also dies at seven damage and it just gets very aggressive and you have to have a lot of perfect cards to get into it it's kind of like almost different gravidia where um either they're going to slap you for a big number and it, if they hit triggers you kind of lose similar to gravidia so i actually think these decks aren't too different uh and they also are both three attacking decks i think that and they both can deck out as well so they're actually not too different the difference is that gravidia just had better support over time and green and green on is only now starting to get support and then gravidia also has better deck filter and better hand draw so that's kind of where, where why like one is better than the other that kind of things happen but well very good stuff so i'm going on a whole st standard rant here but it's just really nice to see uh very happy to see the results it's just very awesome kind of see this all in like one beautiful picture i just i love it so much it makes me so happy let's go over to v i'm probably going to keep this short because it's kind of obvious what's happening here i think we all know what needs to happen i'm not gonna keep beating this horse over and over and over again i'm so tired of talking about this like we all know what the problem is it's right there in front of us it's obviously obviously the elixir guys like man that elixir is just like gosh it's doing work <laughs> but real talk you guys know the problem you guys know the problem i really don't think anything needs to be touched as much as this deck needs to go like this deck just has to go and i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna repeat myself we all know what this is gonna look like as we go from top eight to top four to, to first place like it's kind of just obvious it's been like this literally since the deck drops there was one bcs that was normal or quotations normal because 
because it still had Gurgan in it. But there was one VCS that was like semi-normal, right? But anyway, overall, looking at the results, ignoring the uh, the Gear Chronicle ones, we had Genesis. Though I want to discuss Genesis. Genesis is a lot of different decks. Um, a lot of people think, oh my god, Genesis is like insane, blah, blah, blah. It is a lot of different decks. These are, these are different decks, different, different decks topping, which is pretty interesting. The fact that there's so many different Genesis decks topping. It just shows that all of the decks are, are good at what they do, right? But uh, but anyway, so it's been a lot of different variations of, of Genesis. So we have like the Kimiko, the Fenrir, which is a pretty interesting matchup into Maidens, by the way. And then we also have Astro Poets, which is also an interesting matchup into Maidens because it's kind of like a Hyro, I destroy you type of deck. So, um, and then I think we have like that, like, I don't know, that some girl some chick or whatever i think I, she had a result too i think somewhere i don't, I don't know I, I don't remember what she does she just like exists i don't know she does stuff uh she was one of the newer cards i mean and then <laughs> i know that's a really good explanation i'm really good at this but i'm, I'm a content creator <laughs> i'm the joker next we have uh ezel with gold a lot of this has to do with the fact that early on like you know the restriction was still it was still it wasn't still there but even that we actually saw some ezel results happen and and then dookie i think dookie's kind of in the water right now sorry dookie boy uh i think first of all is just really needing that deck to kind of keep it going. It's very line of rear guards and it not having an extra marker kind of actually slows it down a lot. We have Vanquisher and then Grand Blue and then we have Ange with the Lupina and, and Radius is like all Bermuda Triangle stuff going on here. The different kind of decks and, and then we have Leopold with that Polaris and then Junites and, and uh, a not Astropods or Aqua Force and Luard. Luard recently has been showing results so that's kind of like a recent thing. And then we have Mystery which is all all these one ofs you know because this is like all fit on the chart. It's looking Praise. This is this is this is the results, and it, and then it's gonna convert over to, to something like this. Uh, it's kind of same, but just you know, also just more you know, the horse, the dead horse that we're not gonna keep beating, right? Yeah, uh, this is this is interesting. Uh, something you find that this also the jewel knight. This is jewel knights and alt miles, so that also has been performing. I think we have a little revengers here for the Luar player as well. But both these decks are pretty good. I think people really underestimate alt mile. Um, I actually had the deck for the longest time, and I sold it because I just got tired of royals being just worser. Worse or Shadow Paladins, even though I love Royals, but I ended up selling it because I noticed I just wasn't playing with it as much. And anytime I did, it was just mainly when I just really wanted to have like a laid back day. And normally I'd go like three one or, or two two or something, and you know take take my take my slip call it a day type of thing. And I never really felt satisfied. I feel that like that winning satisfaction. So I ended up selling the deck, <laughs> even though I love Alt Bio. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of this is just how it is. These are the results. Let's go ahead and go ahead and look at top top. Top first place, top one, top one, whoa, top one. Um, <laughs> the results have changed too. The, the results are kind of obvious again. I know we have like the main couple ones that kind of got in. Luard being one of the the ones that made it through because Luard is very obnoxious to fight again. Luard's back, boys. Luard is back. It's so annoying to fight right now. Uh, the Eldana plus the plus the counter charging and, and it's really not even the counter charging that does amplify the turn two play. It's really just a combination of it all. Three force markers, three force markers. It's so annoying. The deck. Can play with like no hand pretty much and i think that's like the biggest thing about it is the fact that they can play with no hand very similar to steam Maids, by the way they can also play with no hand but overall yeah this, these are the results we have a, a little lonely glendy here a little little boy little little, little glendy a little silly boy made it through uh recently so good job little glendy uh but overall, good job everybody good job also standard and v let's go over to, to uh premium so let's go on here. So this, oh, uh, so this is top eight premium. Now keep in mind, we did have a very big shift. I think the one that did, had the least amount of shifting was V, but I think both for premium and standard had a quite a bit big shift throughout because like new sets dropped and stuff like that. But at least for, for V, that didn't really happen because once the new set dropped, that was kind of it. But in premium, we had a ban list happen that actually affects the results here a little bit. Mainly MFD got like super hard banned because like you literally the card got banned. And then also we had the restriction happen over in Aqua Force. So they lost their... It's kind of funny, but I can't remember his name, but they lost the guy that lets you cycle through like Excel markers like crazy, which was like a whole big thing that you could do. That's pretty much gets just gone, right? But this is what Top Bay is looking like. Pretty much, you know, uh, Narukami, the whole time that the ban list happened or ban list didn't happen, Narukami was pretty much one of the better decks to take, right? So, and then after that, we had Gear Chronicles, because Gear Chronicles has two variations as a Steam Main engine and then also the MFD version. And the MFD got banned pretty much people went to Steam Main is because it was pretty much the V deck plus, uh, plus more, right? So it's pretty much how people were playing it. Though it's a little, it's, it's not as crazy as a deck because there's just more resources that people have access to to deal with it but it's still a good deck it's still it's still a good deck you have the red down mechanic and all this kind of stuff so the deck still performs well that's what we're seeing happening here and then aqua force because of the results early on i think aqua force is really showing a lot here i think it's mainly the early results that are affecting it there i think there was a couple that made it through later on because it does have its own like resist and ride down as well so that also helps and then we have highlander highlander also very well performing and after that we have chaos um 
we have we have uh we have chaos here with with Link Joker D leader stuff. A lot of early results were showing up, and then we did I think we had like a couple later on. And the Nightmare Dolls, which I think started showing up more recently than like early on, which is very interesting. That I kind of shifted. And then we have Grand Blue, and with the Scare Deck variation, and this is a very interesting one. Um, I I can been I had a couple test just minor testing into this deck. To, it's very small. You kind of see what it does. It's very interesting. This is like the 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 one that loops with greed on. It, it's very weird. And then we have Shiryuki and DP, right? DP here and Ghidorah and, and um, Genesis and we have a NOK and a little bit of Great Nature and some random ones, right? So that's pretty much just, this is the results. Um, the fact that this is still on the, on the pie chart is actually interesting. It just shows how strong this deck is. Even with everything going on, this deck can still perform. I think it even got a first place somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, this deck's insane. Top four is looking like, again, it's kind of the same, but just, you know, less less numbers i'm a real with you it's kind of the same so we're gonna go to go over to first place and again honestly it's kind of the same <laughs> like, it really is there's a couple shifting between what's where but it's honestly kind of the same so again it's the save decks it, it's the, i think we lost one i think we lost one somewhere we lost one in the crowd no no we didn't they just i think we lost this one i think we lost link joker i think link joker like went yeah link joker went away um that's pretty much all that changed link joker is just not not a first place deck apparently <laughs> but yeah same thing still narakami still gear chronicle still aqua still grand blue still highlander i would say the, those are i would say the list the the, the the top five is really like it's really like narakami steam maidens i guess aqua Force. i didn't really think about it as like a top tier deck but hey it's been performing i don't know if a lot of this has to do with the early results or not I'm not really too sure there uh grand blue but i really i really my eyes it was like narakami steam maidens and highlander actually as being that one of the top three um but you know alas i talked about this like in a video or two ago about all this right so we kind of discussed this and then this is a recent placing right this is like a very recent one so this is just like end of season like i i, I made it in guys here I am! <laughs> um, I think same with this one too, actually. Um, with these two, we've had results throughout the season, both times, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, this one was like more early on, and then this one was like throughout the season as well. So very interesting stuff. This is overall the full-on results. This is everything you need to know. Um, all the results are here. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's very awesome to see. I will say out of all of them, I, I think premium and standard look the fairest in my eyes. Like, I, I still will, I still think this. I think Venus just looks horrendous right now really hope that changes but anyway this is the results i hope you guys enjoyed them obviously we have another full-on year coming soon we still have worlds by the way something mentioned worlds i don't think premium and v are going to be touched too much unless there's a ban list but standard will actually probably be a little different because they just had set seven drop and on top of it the promos and stuff like that happening recently so i expect to see worlds to be pretty interesting to watch uh it'll have youthberg actually out in full powers so we could see kind of how that performs so there's in terms of worlds what is this what, what does worlds mean I think we're gonna be. We're, I think Stairs gonna be the most interesting one to watch. I'm gonna just. I'm just just throw it out there. Stairs gonna be great. I, I can't. I can't wait for worlds. We got a month left. Like exactly a month almost, like a couple days or something before Christmas and New Year's and all this stuff. And then and then it's Worlds time, baby. It's time for Worlds. And I'm really excited. I'm going to be there, by the way, guys. I'll be there. So, you know, just let to keep in mind. And I, it's really exciting to see. I can't wait. I, I literally cannot wait to see how Worlds is going to go. I'm so excited. Uh, I can't wait to see everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm like this hype. I'm so hype. Uh, but anyway, guys, other than that, I'm going to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed the results. I hope it was fun to watch. Listen to me just... Uh, talk but that uh, guys peace out don't forget those play mats and those cars code orange all that kind of fun stuff peace out those videos see you guys in a future video whatever it is that i'm doing bye